There are few things in life more disappointing than a cheap, inferior Cornish pasty. Today, we're going to find ourselves the best Cornish pasty in the world. To find the best Cornish pasty in the world, of course, you've got to come to Cornwall. Also, you need yourself a sidekick. You need someone with a head for miles and a belly that goes on for miles. You need yourself a beast of a man. You need to be smart. You need yourself a Bruce Smart. Hiya! Yes, that's right. Chops and teapot on a whirlwind Cornish adventure to find the best Cornish pasty in the world. Nice heart, by the way. Chops, roll that intro. <laughs> I think you're around that, mate. I'm still glad you've voted me. I'm on a pasty run, he wants a cake. We could have gone on a cake run. Bestest ever holiday. This is. <laughs> down our necks. Is this one of these scuddy ones where you see naked people? Oh. <laughs> So, where, where are we, Bruce? We're, we're, we're somewhere in... Uh, I don't think we're Cornwall yet. Are we Cornwall yet? I don't I know. I've got a clue. I'm just Devlin, following you. We don't know where we are. We just pulled over. <laughs> we're just following the sat-nav blindly. We don't know really where we're going. It says we're half an hour away from our first stop. We've got the man. We've got the pasty man here, Bruce Smart. This is a man who's been around. You've been in a long trip or something, Bruce, haven't you? You're well known like for. To, I don't like to talk <laughs> about it, chops, but yeah, I did. Uh, I did a little trip of uh, famous Starbucks all around the world here. Yeah. yeah, he's he's around the world, Trevor. So when I was thinking of doing this, I thought we need someone who can put his food away, or both of us are, uh, can put our food away. We need a man who, because we've got to do this in a day. We need a man who can do some miles. Basically today. We've got nine well-renowned pasty establishments to visit. Why did you hold up five? <laughs> nine. <laughs> I'll keep you happy. Nine well-renowned. These are, these are places which are recommended. They all say they've got the best pasties in Cornwall. So we're going to try and hit all these nine pasty right. shops. Within their opening hours, we're half an hour away from the first one in Bude. Um, so it's going to be pasties, pasties, pasties. I hope you're hungry because... I'll see what I can do, Chops. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> we're going to go traditional. They've got to be traditional, so we're comparing right. the same thing. So traditional pasties, which one is the best one in Cornwall, mate? So <laughs> This is already the best thing I've ever done on a bike. <laughs> I love this it. Is, this is like the, the hairy biker's stroke, the long way round, mixed into one video. It's brilliant. <laughs> you had me at pasty. I don't care where we're going. <laughs> What you've not mentioned is the fact that we've been on the road since like three o'clock this bloody morning yeah. and you, you were freezing your nuts off earlier. <laughs> we've already done three hours on the bike before we've even got here. I tell you what, Chops, I am impressed with a man with such a delicate little derriere as you that you are doing this on the sports bike. Good boy. I've got to prove how versatile this bike is because in the past I've said this is not so much a sports bike but a sports tourer so uh, we're going to prove it today because I think it's around about 600 miles we're going to be covering today in total so uh, yeah I'm, I'm not renowned for having the strongest of backsides when it comes to doing miles so let's see how we get on so the pasties are coming out the oven at Harper State I've been in contact with the proprietor I think it's T Tasty Pasties is where we're going so the first stop is Tasty Pasties let's hope they live up to their name and then what we're going to do, we're going to score each of the, uh, the pasties we try. So we're going to have a little bit of a scoring session. We're scoring them on taste. We're scoring them on, uh, I can't think what I said now, filling, how full they are, how much filling is within them. We're scoring them on how the pastry is crimped, because of course the Cornish pasty, now these, uh, these date back to the, mine, the tin miners going down and the, you know, taking a pasty down, and because the tin mines there's a lot of arsenic with the tin and with the ore apparently this is what i found out in my research you've really taken this seriously job somebody dude this isn't messing about bruce this is this is serious business so the actual crimp they obviously used to hold the crimp and then because they'd have arsenic on their hands they obviously didn't eat the crust because that would be contaminated with the arsenic so they don't give themselves arsenic poisoning so that's why they have the big crimped crust to hold on to. I think the crust is one of the best bits. I, I couldn't have been a miner. We've got nine shops to try and hit. 
I hope you're hungry, Bruce, because there's gonna be a lot of pasty being consumed today. You've picked the right comrade for this. The right man for the job. Oh, I think I've done this road. This looks a bit familiar. It looks familiar. They all look the same around here though, don't they? Tarmac, hedges. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. I've been eating for three days. I'm starving. If we get there and there is a queue already, you know you've come to the right place. The size of me and you, they're going to be like, Margaret, get more pasties on. <laughs> How many do you want? <laughs> All of them, please. Welcome to Cornwall. Welcome to Cornwall. We weren't in Cornwall. Now we're in Cornwall. All right, my lover. Tasty pasties. There it is. Tasty pasty. First stop, tasty pasties in Bude. Hungry Bruce, you ready for this? This is like my bestest ever holiday. This is. <laughs> Free pasties, well, I'm buying. <laughs> We've come for a couple of your lovely traditional pasties, please. What size, did you have? What size Bruce? Is that silly question? Yeah. Yeah. Large, please. Large. We've got giant. <laughs> You've got giant, have you? Oh, so, oh this, is this the giant here? Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know if I have room for giants. We go giants then, go on, a couple of giants. Uh, a couple of warm ones, please, yeah. Here they are, Bruce, the first pasties of the day. Tasty pasties, the large mega pasties. <laughs> mega pasties, is that Mega pasties. Let's go and take them somewhere and have a taste. Let's watch. This is the first one of the day, but I'm telling you, I'm ready for this. <laughs> I don't My think I've ever rumbling. been this excited. That's, oh, look at that. That's good, isn't it? That's appetising. That is. What are we uh, thinking weight-wise? It's a good size. This, is, this was their mega one, so this is the big ones, but... Obviously. <laughs> we, we don't know what going small. <laughs> but I'd say that is uh, appetising. I'm going to have a go. I'm going to go for it. Smells amazing. Looks good. Plenty of meat, mm. onions, mm. tatty. Let's go in there. No carrot. Apparently carrot was a sign that the, mm. they couldn't afford much meat. So if you've got carrot in it, it's a sign that it may not be the best pasty. That's good. It's good isn't it? That is really mm. good. Mm. Oh my God. Can't oh, talk yeah. eating. Mm. We're in beautiful Bude, right down by the coast. Mm. Surrounded by people out walking, lots <laughs> of people running. It's a really fit place. Lots of very athletic looking people in fitness gear. <laughs> and chops and, and I there's us. <laughs> sat here munching on a pasty at <laughs> like nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the first one of nine. <laughs> the first one of nine. Mm. Jim. They're going to have to go some to beat this. They are. We've got, I've got a little score sheet in a minute, so we'll give it a quick round down on scoring. And then hopefully, at the end of the video, we'll have the best Cornish pasty in Cornwall. Ooh. Notepad, traditional. Pen. Notepad, pen. None of that electronic nonsense. See, if this was TMF, you'd have an Excel spreadsheet. He <laughs> would have a little iPad he pulled out. Linked by the cloud. So there we go. We have a score of 48 for tasty pasties. I love how seriously he's taking this. This it's is brilliant. This isn't messing about. This is serious research. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here. <laughs> 20 minutes to the next one, yeah? I think it's Ooh. 20 minutes. <laughs> right, next stop is uh, Boss Castle, I think. Toilet. Toilet, another <laughs> wee for Bruce. Boss Castle, which I think is about 20 minutes, I don't know, something like that. I need to get fuel. You've got another 100 miles left in the GS. <laughs> another week left in the GS, yeah. <laughs> I need to get some fuel in the double R. And then we're off to Boss Castle for the next Cornish pasty. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm not full yet. Well, cheers for pasty number one, Chops. Very enjoyable, thank you. Tasty pasties in Bude. So uh, if you're in the area, well worth popping in and sampling that beauty. Back in the day when uh, the tin miners were going down with their pasties. Is this another, um, is this another pasty fact? So, yeah, this is another pasty fact for you. Stay awake, kids, stay awake. <laughs> their wives used to put the initials on the uh, on the crimp and the reason being that uh, obviously they wouldn't eat the crimp so what they would do is they'd leave the crimp for the little critters the little imaginary animals which lived down the tin mine which brought bad luck 
and when they found the crimp they'd see whose it was and that means they would treat they wouldn't uh, they'd be safe there wouldn't be any landslides on the uh, on the owner who would cut their name on the crimp there you go the pixies the cornish pixies i wonder what sort of drugs they used to take back in the day to come up with all this stuff i think it was arsenic mate <laughs> arsenic poisoning <laughs> <laughs> the crimp wasn't big enough they love the old windmills down here don't they they love the old wind generators wow between your chat about uh, pasty facts and the local wind generators <laughs> this is going to be an enthralling vid <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week, folks, for my stamp collection. And, that, and the week after, from a train set. <laughs> Ooh, trains. Like a bit of double O. This will be it here. Hillsborough Farm Shop, Boss Castle. The old farmhouse. Right, it's busy already. Look at it, it's packed. Are these people animals having a pasty this time of the morning? I've got bad news, Bruce. They've sold out of pasties. It's gonna be half hour till they got the next batch. And we ain't got half hour to wait. They may have been the best pasties. We won't know. Pillsbury Farm. It's a good sign. They've missed out. Thing. Yeah, well, if they can't, they've gone to supply. They're no good, are they? Let's move on. Tintagel it is. Oh, there's a switch back here, Bruce. The what? Switch back. Switch back action. There's yes. glass in the road, which yeah. has a bit of glass there. Yeah, so it pushes your weight, doesn't it? Aha, that could be Tintagel in front, actually, I think now. There's a very, very steep incline down to the, the castle. We, we won't be doing that. The way back up, we need a respirator when we get to the top with all this gear on. That's gorgeous. Look at the queue! That's a good sign. The Cornish Bakery. So here we are, people. Tintagel. Is this one of these scuddy ones where you see naked people? See nothing. Money, I'm Scottish. It's 11 o'clock, we've only had half a bloody pasty. This isn't, uh, we're a bit behind schedule here. We're wasting away, chops, we're wasting away. Ever the professional. <laughs> this is what we're going for. This is their large pasty bruise. And I've got you a little uh, little treat as well. A little... Oh my god. Have that in a minute, have that in a minute, because we've uh, got a favourite time. You treat me well, Chops. I do. And there it is. Tintagel Bakery. She's filled to the brim. That's a bit more filling than the last one. You laughing gear around that, mate. Feels light, light. yeah. Uh, yeah some... I think it feels lighter than the last one, but there's more filling. More potato. Bloody hot. <laughs> mm, peppery. Mm. It's definitely got a bit more seasoning, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. It's got a good crimp as well. Get your hands around that. Mmm. No carrot. A lot more Good potato time. in that one. Mm. A bit less meat, maybe. Mm. Nice crisp pastry. I don't think it's quite as good. No, as not as much gravy. And no. There's a lot of pepper in that. Mm. Quite overwhelming. Not overwhelming. But... Mm. Not bad, though. Mm. Oh, look at these. Any one chops? I haven't got time, mate. We've got another seven to hit. It's half eleven. How about the next one? How about the next one? Come on, we've got to go. Well, that was the uh, 
the Tintagel Bakery. I think it's just called the Bakery, wasn't it? It wasn't a fancy name, did it? It was just. I think so. Yeah, just Bakery. Bakery Tintagel Bakery. That was heavy going. That one. <laughs> well, that was getting a little more difficult, wasn't it? I mean, it was yeah. a big old pasty. But we've only had one pasty between us, so we're, we're not yeah. exactly, uh, we're not proving ourselves as big great eaters at the moment, are we? <laughs> we've had a pasty each, but they are, you actually weigh those things. Should have bought some scales with me, because they're, they're substantial, aren't they? <laughs> you like the old scales, don't you? <laughs> Comparisons. Compare your pasty weights. But uh, yeah, very nice uh, Tintagel. Good place to visit. It's a bit of a walk down to the sea. I've done it before, but there is the ruins of the old castle. But we did manage to get the drone up, so uh, you've probably already seen some delightful drone footage, footage taken by Bruce. It wasn't me. It was Bruce's the licensed flyer. <laughs> You know, for the Cornish pasty is another Cornish pasty fact for you. They've actually, it's, it's, it's protected, it's a bit like uh, champagne or whatever. So, to be called a Cornish pasty, it's got to be made in Cornwall. <laughs> Who'd have thought that? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's why you know you've got the West Country Pasty Company. Ah, I right. think that's why they're not called Cornish pasties because they're not actually made in Cornwall. So you can't have the best Cornish pasty in the world without coming to Cornwall to eat it. So everyone who says, yeah, but I live in the States and they do a great Cornish pasty, they don't because you have to be in Cornwall. Cloth Bakery. Right, let's see what they've got to offer. It's now 12 o'clock, so we are proper lunchtime rush now. So uh, this is meant to be award-winning pasties, award-winning bakers. I think Bruce is uh, feeling the pace. He's struggling. He's struggling with the consumption. In the box. Let's find somewhere to eat them. Are you ready for this one, Bruce? Have you had enough yet? Are you still... Bring it on. Bring it on. First impressions. Ooh. Ooh. It's nicely filled. It does look good, good. Good finish to the... Again, no carrot, so that's a good sign. Let's get it down our necks. Mm. It's a good one. Good. I think it's better than the Tintagel one. Nice to see. It's not too heavy on the pepper. Mm. I think that could be on par almost with that, that one from the Tasty Pasties. Ooh. Good filling. Good filling. Good smell. Mmm. Mmm. It's not bad, is it? It's a good it's one, moist. isn't it? It's good. It's a good moist. Yeah, it's, it's moist. I like it moist. Warm and moist. Mm. Bude had a better amount of meat, didn't it? Tasty mm. pasties, I think, is still the top well, pasty the at the moment. So it's the one to beat. This is a definite second. Though. Yeah, agreed. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, Bruce, we ain't going to have time, mate. We've, we've got to go to Lou now. It's hour and a half. It's, was it half twelve now? It definitely well, wasn't in the car. Have the next one, mate. Have, the, have it next time. Have it next Look time. The state of this one, yeah, have it in a minute, we just ain't got time, mate. We ain't got time. No one likes a sweaty cake. Right, so that was uh, Padstow. That was uh, Cloth Bakery. Cloth Bakery. I don't know how you pronounce that. Not bad, not bad, but I think Tasty Pasty still has it, Bruce, don't you? Definitely. The first one, the first one's definitely the winner so far. So it was weird, the first one wasn't the deepest, like as in, it wasn't the thickest pasty, was it? But it was more meat, and it was very juicy and tasty. Because we were actually hungry and wanted to eat a pasty, <laughs> yeah. was that why we enjoyed that one the most? We have to reflect <laughs> at the end of the day. So we're going on to Loo now, which is 38 miles from Padstow, cuts back across, uh, goes a bit away from the coast, inland a little bit. Um, I don't know what the roads are going to be like, hopefully a bit better, a bit faster than what we've been caught out on before. But we'll see you in Loo. Bruce has been to the Loo, now we're going to Loo. About four times. He's making room. We've only actually eaten a pasty and a half. 
Which sounds a bit pathetic, doesn't it? When you it say, it does, yeah. We yeah, had one does. and a half pasties over the space of five hours, so it's not exactly uh, <laughs> professional eaters, are we? I know, why do I feel so full? But I think that's the whole thing with the Cornish pasty, isn't it? They're just so solid and substantial. You know, they're meant to, they're meant to take down the mine shaft and last you all day, you know, everything you need, all day labouring. So uh, <laughs> just for two fat blokes to sit on motorbikes and ride around, it's uh, <laughs> one and a half is more than enough. Blocks. Hang on a minute, what? I think I'm out of pasty trivia, Bruce. What, you mean you haven't been on Google learning some more? I know. Oh, I've got another one, I have got another one. Go on. The, the saying, oggy, 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 oh, 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 comes from uh, the pasties, the tin mines. Well, what they used to do, they used to take, they used to cook the actual pasties down in the tin mines. And the, the, when they were at the top of the mine, they used to shout down oggy, which I think is uh, pasty in... Cornish, whatever the language is, what's the Cornish language called? Cornish. We call it Cornish for the sake of this story. They used to shout down Oggy, which means which means pasty, and then they'd go, oi, oi, if it was ready. So that's where that's where the Oggy, 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 oi, oi, oi comes from. Do you know that's a pub quiz question that? That may serve somebody well in the future. That, that may serve somebody well. There you go, you liked that one, didn't you? You gotta admit you like that one. You like that one. I did actually. I'm gonna forget it, but I did like it. Let's have a bit of a sit rep. 269 miles so far. Half done. I'm actually as fresh as a, I'm as fresh as a daisy as well. I'm really surprised. I'm surprising myself how yeah. comfortable. I'm not even. I'm not in any. I'm not even got the starting of any discomfort yet. So I'm Good effort. really impressed. Oh, we've got to cross the uh, cross the bridge now, mate. This is very nice as well. I'm going to have to have the drone lovely. out again now. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. If the pasties are as nice as the view, mate, we're on to a winner here. Yeah. So we are in Lou. That is Martin's Dairy, a well-renowned pasty purveyor. You ready for another one, Bruce? What size do you want? Large? Obviously. Large? Let's go get them. We'll take them down to the seafront and have a taste. It's such a lovely day. <laughs> it's first, really nice. We've been really lucky with the weather. Really, yeah, really lucky. Ones, That's brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. All, right, <laughs> All good. <laughs> Just what you wanted. Yeah. What we do, that, that's Martin's Dairy. There's another shop round the corner which is also coming out as a good score. Sarah's Bakery, I think it's called. So we wander around, get the Sarah's, and then we sit down somewhere, Bruce, and we're. Uh, awesome. We'll see how these compare. Um, can I have a couple of traditional pasties, please? Um, sorry, what are you? You're out, are you? Uh, okay. What, what other flavours have you got? We've got beef and stilton, um, cranberry, green bacon, cheese, onion, and beef and stilton. Beef and stilton, then, please. Okay. Couple, two of those, please. There they are in all their glory. That is the Sarah's pasties. That is the Martin's dairy. So that's a traditional, that's a... Uh, what did I say that was Bruce, do you Steak remember? And Steak and Stilton. You've still got some hunger left oh, in I'm, you? I'm building up an You're building up. It's been a couple of hours, it's been an hour and a half since we've had the last one. Well, so we just had uh, about an eight mile walk there. We have, we, we have. Say. You do the honours, mate. Ooh, I like the look of this one. Yeah, me too, it's got a good look. Yeah, it has got a really good look, isn't it? I like the little extra little uh, decoration. It's winning looks wise. Ooh, we've got the meat in that one. Let's have a look in that. that oh, that is loaded. Meaty. Loaded. Go on, get it in, Booth. Get yeah. it in. That feels good, that. Initial impressions. That's the best one yet. Best one yet? Mm -hmm. That's very meaty. A lot of flavour. Really? Mm. Martin's. Really nice. Martin's. Uh, Crunchy pastry. Ma Martin's good. Dairy's done the uh, like taste, tasty. Uh, what's the first one called? Tasty pasties. Tasty pasties. Tasty pasties. Tasty. Mm. Mm, it's good. good. Let's have a go. Oh, it's got a little bit of sweet or something in this one. Mm. Just step back a bit, Chops. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Very meaty, isn't it? Mm. It's got a lot of meat in it. It's a little bit of potato. A little bit of sweet, I think. That's nice. I'm, I'm not sure if it's as good as well. You think? It's very close. You know what? I think it's lovely. Can't talk, Eaton. A bit sick. You will do after a bit of Stilton. 
That may not sit too Ooh, well. Look at that. Look at that. That's loaded, isn't it? Rammed. Rammed. Get it in your gob. Get it in your gob. It's a bit thinner, the pastry, isn't it, maybe? Mm. Nice. Still very, very nice. Obviously not as good as like a salad or something. Oh. <laughs> McDonald's, of course not. <laughs> yeah, smash a big, big Mac mm. on the wheel. Where is the cake? <laughs> the cake? I don't think we've got time for the cake, Bruce. We've got two more places to go. I'll have the cake a bit later. You said that like the last 18 No, I know, but we, we've got, we think we've got to go back to the lizard now. Well, we've got a choice to make now. We've got, we've we've got, got St. Ives. Never look going on about the bloody cake. You're in that cake. You've got pasties to eat there. <laughs> we've got, we've got, we've, well, we're going to have to take a choice now. It's, what's the time? It's uh, just gone three, I think, isn't it? Quarter past three. We've got, we've got three more on the list. We're not going to do all three because they shut at half five. So I think we're an hour back to the, to the other side of Cornwall. So it's an hour ride. That'll be four. So we've only really got time for one more stop. So. I think the best pasties out of all of those, ones which is the most renowned, I think, is Anne's pasties down on the Lizard. So I think we'll head down to the Lizard, catch Anne's pasties before they shut. And then have a cake. And then, have, and then you can have your cake. Bloody cake. Bring him on a pasty run, he wants cake. We could have gone on the cake run. Let, let, let me have a chat. Womble, I sympathise with you, mate. <laughs> Coming into Anne's Pasties now, eight minutes away. We're coming down the Lizard, which is like the southerly most point of Cornwall. Well, I don't know if it's the most southerly point of England, is it, down on the Lizard? I guess it could be. The, uh, my pack talks run out of battery, so I can no longer talk, talk to Bruce. We were going to arrive at 10 minutes past five, which is 10 past after Anne's Pasties closed. We've now pulled that back. We've had some nightmare traffic, lots of traffic jams we've been able to filter up the outside and whatnot we're now 15 minutes early so we're quarter to five we should arrive which hopefully they have some pasties left and pasties this way that's someone's house it's open it's open oh, skin of our teeth oh hello hi. hello hello, oh, hello. <laughs> We, we've travelled 300 miles oh to come goodness. for one of your traditional pasties. That must be like, a, could that be bur Birken? Well, Birken? We, we, we've, Birken? Been, we've been doing, we're trying to find the best Hampstead. Cornish best Cornish pasty in Cornwall. So we've, right, we've, we've come from London? Portsmouth, Portsmouth. we've come from Portsmouth. Oh, Portsmouth. And we've, oh, been, up there like we've been all the way round, we've been, been to oh, about yeah, seven other pasty past places today. Oh my God, oh my God. And you're our final port oh, of no, call. Oh no, you're not singing. Oh, here. if you don't mind, oh, if you don't mind. <laughs> Are you yeah, sure? Sarah's pasties. Oh, it's Sarah's pasties with the twiddle. I thought yeah, it was Martin's. That's there. Martin's there. In the ah! Table. I think we cocked that up. Why? Martin's was that one which had a slight, we said it had a slight, I think it's Sarah's pasties which we really liked. Martin's, I mean, we said it had a slight um, cheesy taste. Mm -hmm. I think that must, have been the, that must have been the Sarah's pasties. No, because, no, because it came out of, because Sarah's pasties is in that thing there. It's, it's that one. That's the, the top one. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's Martin's. That's doodah. Martin's doodahs. Look at those. A day's work there, Bruce. Whew. That's a day's work there of the finest pasties. Bought and paid for. <laughs> Bought and paid for. Finest pasties which Cornwall has to offer right there. <laughs> well, we haven't even finished eating them yet, so I've got one more to have. Ooh. Yay! So we've got to try Anne's now, which is that this one. one. The rustic looking one. Are you this ready is, for this? this are, you, are you hungry still? Yeah, let's crack one. Let's get it done. Death on glory. This has been a very civilised... It has. Yes. Everyone would just been eating pasties. I've got doilies or dishcloth things, <laughs> tablecloth, chopping boards, knife. It's all uh, 
Looks like a little potato would be my first comment. There is a lot of potato. It looks like quite crusty. It's a thick crust. A very thick crust. That's tasty though. Mm. That's, it's really meaty. A lot of potato. Crispy, like crispy pastry. I like this. I don't think the filling is as tasty as Martin's Daily. Yeah. I think. I think the tasty past, the tasty pasties this morning mm -hmm. was the second best. I think mm -hmm. on the filling taste. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Martin's dairy is the top taste, I think. The top taster. Definitely. I like I like the crispy pastry in this though. Mm. But I don't know if that's just because this is the close of play in the day. But I think you want this pastry on Martin's mm -hmm. filling, don't you? I think that I think you've got to make you <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> There's no dignified way of eating a pasty at five PM. Your sixth pasty, oh. seventh part month. I never want to see another pasty again. <laughs> I'll take all these home. This is tomorrow's this is the dinner for my dinner for the rest of the week. Mm. Where's my cake? Yep, I think it's been lost. I'll try to look back, it's not in the back of the bike. It's gone. It's gone, mate. The whole day. The whole day. No cake. Oh. I'm so full. Oh. So, so, full on scientific experiment. To conclude, I think, if you want to go and buy a pasty, I think Martin's mm -hmm. Dairy is your best pasty. Mm -hmm. um, never mind the points, we'll check the points in a minute. Mm -hmm. And then I think it is the one, uh, I think the first one we tried, Tasty pasties I maybe the tastiest filling. yeah i think that is the thing and, i really and like this pastry this though. has got a nice filling it's got lots of nice mm -hmm. meat in it it's got the best pastry mm -hmm. but i think the filling is slightly more tasty mm -hmm. on martin's but this is very good mm -hmm. this is very good you can't go wrong with anyone you can't get a bad pasty these days <laughs> and any of these pasties mm -hmm. would be absolutely fine mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. and if you buy cake eat it don't save it for later mm. Another test. Back, I remember another fact now from oh, good. from from the from the back in the mining era. Mm -hmm. A good pasty used to be able to drop it down the <laughs> drop it down the mine shaft and it could survive. Now, how these have travelled in your top box? <laughs> <laughs> these have done a couple hundred miles. Which of one is looking in the best shape? Look at um, that one. It looks immaculate. That's that, look at that one. Oh, that's this morning's one. That's this it? morning. So that's done two hundred miles or so. That's in good nick. Mm. I think the hands one would survive well because it's got a really thick, thick crust on. Yeah. But they're not in too bad a shape in the back of your dot box. This one's, that one's not too bad. That so you think if you're going to go state. down the mine and you're going to throw a pasture Yeah, there. we should we should really do this scientifically and drop these from a great height. <laughs> but we won't. I'm, I might be dropping a few off later. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Next challenge. Next challenge, I'll get, apart from getting home. <laughs> Best haggis in Scotland. Probably is, isn't it? Watch this space. I could really use a drink. <laughs> it's <laughs> just should, taking a lot of chewing. Should we just get a prem Premier in and get on it? Oh, oh. oh ow, ow. Oh. How, oh. Is your, how is your bum bum on oh. the um, S1000RR? Brilliant. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, haven't we've done 300 and something miles so far, I think. Yeah. No problem. That it's uh, it's incredible. I'm surprised. Mm. I'm really surprised. I am as well. I mm. thought you would be crying like mm. a baby. Well, it's five o'clock now. Fifty mile. Well, we've done twelve hours now, mm. and I think I looked on the way here, and I think it was something like um, seven hours riding, something like that. Mm. It's a lot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. no. For a sports bike and someone with a bit of a soft bottom. For you, that's incredible. Yeah, and it's fine. I think it will be getting rather tender another couple of hours. But. Oh, it's a shame that the intercoms have run, ba the batteries I've got have run. I've mine on charge now. Oh, good. So good. you might better get me moaning about my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just turn on Joe Rogan and listen to a podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh -huh. um. 
Ah, oh, there we go, Bruce. Well, thank you for coming. My pleasure. It's appreciated. And like I say, next challenge, the best haggis. And, or any other suggestions you may have for a, a best of mm. food. The best of Brit the best of British. Let's make it a series. A series. The best of British. Yeah. The best of British foods. Now I don't I don't like I don't like the term the fat bikers. But uh, we need something along those lines. The bearded lines. bikers. A little bit more polite. The bearded bikers. The um the jolly bikers. The jolly bikers. <laughs> the uh, the big the big hunt. <laughs> So, if you're not already subscribed to Bruce's channel, get yourself over there, get subscribed. He's got some brilliant content you're really missing out if you're not already subscribed to his stuff. And our next challenge will actually be on your channel. Yeah. So, if you do want to see our next challenge, subscribe to Bruce and then you will not miss it. But thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We're going to go and be sick behind the bins now. <laughs> and we're we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. We, we, we look bulimic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Da -da -da. Little update, it is uh, quarter past eight now. We're on the way home. We're just coming up to Exeter, as you can see. Getting bloody dark. We, we've done 420 miles so far today. It's two hours 52 left until I get home. Uh, it's 152 miles to go, so I'm gonna be about the 520, 570 miles by the time I get home. That's not bad going in a day. My arse is starting to get a little bit sore, but it's really not too bad, considering I've done 421 miles. Been in the saddle for nine hours and 13 minutes today, and I'm still pretty fresh. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Check back in in another couple of hours. See you in a minute. Battery's running out. I've done 560 miles, 560 miles, and I've got 20 more to go. And I feel as fresh as a date. Well, as fresh as a daisy, but my heart isn't hurting. I feel fine. This bike's amazing. I love it. It is a sport.